gurgle, gurgle. We all have a busy life. And working on things around the house is just part of it. Life. Watering the plants. And then there's that thing that you have to do every couple of days during the week to keep up with the neighbors. And then, of course, there's those special projects. And even when you think you got all of your bases covered, Mama's always got a list. Always. Always check that list because Mama can find you something to do. Always. Really? You got a good buddy like Chase? You always make time. For some cuddle time on the couch, a little bit of relaxation, like Chase says, at 10 o'clock at night. Watching movies. So I think I did something pretty cool, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this isn't something that I'm gonna do regularly, but this did take quite a bit of time to do. Take a peek, see what you think. Well, here it is, my secret experimental YouTube channel in 12 seconds, my shorts channel that I put out a video once a day, every day for 30 days. And then I did nothing for the next 30 days to see kind of what would happen as an experiment, right? To kind of test the theories of what we're getting from said YouTube creator channels like vidIQ. And I really like this channel, but Film Booth, you know, they have great information to be able to tell us as what to do and how to do it, but to put it to the test from scratch, it would be interesting to see the results. So here we are. Experiment complete and results now delivered. So let's take a deeper look. As I said, we made 30 videos of just nonsense. And it's just clips of interesting things. Most of these things I either got from a work trip or from a vacation or try to keep it as non-personal as I possibly could, like keeping people out of it or making it some sort of scene or something like that. And if you know me, now that you see these, you might recognize some of the things that we've done, like the mulch, you know, getting some mulch for uh, um, the house. Those are Chase's feet. He was going through this phase where he thought smashing things was fun, so we made a smashing video. So I took that little clip from that. This is a work trip video where we're just watching a machine run um, another work trip, a work trip, a work trip, a work trip. You know, as you can see, I mean, it's just a lot of me doing, you know, just weird things. So anyway, the results were quite astonishing, really. You know, as expected, it took a while for it to pick up. You know, on the third day, we had 155 views of a video, which was kind of interesting. And then it just went back to nothing, right? Which is a shame because this one I really like. And it's just interesting to me, the stuff that we find ourselves that we like may not ever mean anything to anybody else and i'm just gonna pop this one open and just give this a watch because... and i just think that's cool but not very many people did the real first banger that we had if you want to call it that was we hit 300 views and the reason why I'm so, oh no, here's a, the first one, the Trump punch one, you know, 1300 views was, you know, I'll just pop this open there again, 12 seconds. Why not? So it's interesting, right? It's just mechanical machinery at work. Um, yeah, but who would have ever guessed that would have take it off like it did and then we're back to you know that's kind of neat um 300 views to listen to a fire alarm going off at a hotel i don't know what the expectation would be like if we watch this was the hotel on fire was it actually going to burn down uh, i don't know what the draw is this one was a surprise and it wasn't a surprise you know, 3100 views for new york new york that's literally just a city but no one probably ever got what this video was about. So let's just play it and see if you caught it. I'll just let it play again and I'll explain. 
I was driving down the street in New York. As you can see, this light is green. But no, this guy doesn't care. He just walks right across, right in front of everybody. Obviously, we're going slow. But um, to me, that was precisely what New York is. You know, there's people doing what they want, regardless of any said circumstance or, or issue. It's funny, but I guarantee no one caught that. You know, they probably saw, oh, look, it's a New York street. Let's click on it. Kind of neat. This one wasn't a surprise because this actually is pretty cool. And this was in Quebec in a parking lot. I had a minivan on that trip. And this parking ramp was absolutely a nightmare to get in and out of. I mean, look at how ridiculously tight that is. And then I'm not trying to make this up. And I'm trying to show that my headlights nearly hit that pillar. And there again, the rear of the van is nearly scraping the pillar again. It's ridiculously how tight that was. But then you got some crazy ones like a uh, comparison here. A fried chicken video, seven views. Another fried chicken video, 1800 views. What I learned in this experiment is that it really makes no difference what it is that you put. You can put effort into it. You can put no effort into it. The stuff that you like may not matter to the next person that's watching it. Um, like this one, this one is pretty good. 3,200 views, pulling snow. Yeah, I did videotape this while I was driving down the road. My wife loves when I do that. It was just a ridiculously day. This is out in South Dakota. That's what it looks like when that snows. There's nothing to stop the snow from blowing. There's no trees. There's, it's just for uh, field after field. When the wind blows and snows, that's what you get. This is would consider normal. It's a normal driving day in, in the snow. But to some people who may not have ever seen snow or may question why are you even driving with the weather being that bad, people in, live in this area aren't going to consider that being bad. But this is what I found the most intriguing. If we go into the analytics of this, and if we kind of drill down into the production of it, right? The consistency of doing this once, yeah, now we're, we're getting lots of views now from me doing this. This has exploded <laughs> a bit. Um, but if you would look normally in the last 48 hours, if we take away this last little effort here, it's dead. This channel is completely non-existing, right? And if we go into, you know, a custom mode, and if we look at when I was in a, we'll say in its heyday, right? When I was putting these videos out. I started this on April 14th. I stopped putting videos out on May 14th. So if we apply that, we got 18 subscribers. So nowhere near what these uh, content creator people would suggest you could do with consistent effort and decent. I don't know. It's hard for me to say that this is quality work because it's just actually just snippets, you know, 12 seconds running. But 24, almost 25,000 views within 30 days. That sounds to me like that's pretty impressive. I never would have achieved that on our normal channel, the Ace Cafe Bike channel. But 18 subscribers seems a bit weak compared to what they claim, you know, this should yield. But this is the most interesting thing. If we change this now, I did this on with intent just to see the effects, right? If we change this down to May 15th through another running 30 days, so we'll go to June 14th. And if we apply that, 423 views with one subscriber. So to me, that's absolute proof that consistency is the name of this game, right? It doesn't necessarily mean uh, the stuff that we create is worthwhile or it's not worthwhile. It's just being consistent and catching that, that eye-catching thumbnail is going to be what produces that person to click. So I'm not producing anything, then this channel disappeared. So take it for what you will, but I think that's a pretty interesting little experiment to do. I thought it was fun. So back to your regularly scheduled programming. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, we're recording this already? What kind of like voiceover Mike was saying, next week we're back to regularly broadcast this stuff. Bike builds, motor block. Oh, that's right. Bike builds are back. So strap in. We're going to have some fun. 
Or if you like this video, guys, give me a comment and let's chat a little bit about it. I'm happy to share any of the any more information that I have about what I've learned from VidIQ and from Film Booth. They're both great channels. If you're not subscribed to them already, you should check them out. That's they got really good info there. But if you think you might want to subscribe to my channel because of this video, you may want to go back and watch some of our other stuff because we're not turning this into a YouTube creation channel. We're not doing that. Um, there's plenty of other places you can go to learn how to make good content versus here. This is just an experiment and it's over. So I would like you to subscribe if you like it though. And while you're thinking of us, Ace Cafe Bikes, go check out our website buy some merchandise and support this channel that's all for me guys coming to you on site in ohio mystery see you next time